Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today we're going to be going over how to beat these eight man ladder matches because man, when I tell you I got thousands and I mean thousands of people telling me, yo, Jack, how do you beat these ladder matches? And to that, I say, I don't even know. I don't even know. It's the most random match type ever in this game and 2K clearly didn't put any effort into like making sure that uh you know this this mode was correctly made and i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys the full match right here all right if you guys want more videos like this where i talk over the gameplay that way you guys can see my skills and everything and see how i play and uh you know get some cool commentary let me know if you guys want more of this i do this six times a week and um if you guys love my faction this is the place to be so make sure you guys like and subscribe without further ado let's just get into this all right so I'm using Matt Riddle, as you guys can see, and, uh, you know, I instantly go outside the ring. First thing you got to do is, one, one, well, first you have to use a striker. Once you use a striker, you're good to go because their objectives are way easier for proving grounds, okay? Then what you need to do is make sure you go outside, do all your objectives outside, get those easy objective points, and then you just got to find a way to survive. I mean, you guys are about to see, I go through the most toxic stuff ever. The most, and stuff that, and it's crazy because, like, I actually didn't play the game all day. Then I was like, you know what, let me just record this. That way I can get some gameplay in and make this video. And you guys are about to see some crazy stuff that I was like, what is going on? You know what I'm saying? So, um, I was a little bit, I was a little bit rusty. You know, I was missing my, um, some of my, uh, you know, breakers and stuff. But for the most part, I was pretty much consistent with everything. I just hate when, you know, you're supposed to reverse a move, but you can't reverse it because they don't give you a reversal prompt. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it really messes up the flow of the match. And not only that, but why is this done in the game on eight-man ladder matches? This literally takes you outside of the match. Like, you're literally done. Like, if if there was no one in the ring right now and, and everyone was, was stunned, I know that's not possible because the game's programmed to not do that. But let's say, like, someone was up the ladder and they just need to get one more of those little points to get the briefcase. That's it. And I had no control over it. And I, and I know they're doing it just to make the game, you know, more realistic and stuff. But let's be real. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a video game. You don't need to take it that seriously. You know what I'm saying? And is it just me? Or wasn't the ladder fixed, you know, back in 2K18 and 19? And then, you know, 20 was all right. Like, why is the ladder physics so bad now? Like, it's so hard to place a ladder. And not only that, but since it's an eight-man ladder match, you can't even place a ladder now. Literally, you guys are about to see it. I'm over here falling over the ladder. The ladder's falling on me. The ladder's falling all over the place. It's like, it's crazy. It's crazy. These guys can see. Look, they're just watching. Samoa Joe's just watching them get the briefcase. And it's like, it's, it's just so random. I can't stand when you know the cpu just throws you out the ring like they just did a couple minutes ago or seconds ago because it's just it's just it's just so annoying but as you guys can see i'm doing my taunts just trying to get my objective points you know what i'm saying i'm not even worried about the ladder as you guys can see you, you don't see me going for the ladder at all you guys just see me going for different opponents trying to you know just make sure i get my objective points and uh, i was really trying to get some more joe because i was trying to get his head red because that's one of the objectives for this mode so uh for a striker so i was just really trying to just focus on him just focus on one opponent too that's the next thing just focus on one opponent don't focus on any other opponents just one opponent do your objectives and you'll be all good to go um as you guys can see like my riddle was just running all over the place i wasn't even trying to run this <laughs> is so we were running all over the place it was just crazy but uh, let's see what happens here i think i reversed this right no do i not oh yeah i did i did i did okay there. <laughs> but yeah, I was just trying to stun him that way I can do my signature. But then I couldn't do my signature because Keith Lee is in the way. And then he throws me right out the ring. So I can't, and you know, and I'm not trying to, you know, use my little special points because I won't be able to do my signature. So then I finally got to do my signature right there. Got him stunned. And I think I was trying to do my finisher as well. Why didn't I do my finisher? I know that was the next thing I wanted to do. I needed to do that. But I was also trying to get um, the damage to the head as well. So 
I don't know. Wait, no, actually, no. I think I got that done already. So I think I just needed that. Unless I got my finisher done already. I can't remember. I'm, I'm too busy talking, so I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> but as you guys can see, look at the ring. Look at how crazy the ring is. How is anyone supposed to climb up a ladder like this? How is anyone supposed to do this? And if you guys, you know, for the people that ask me, how do I, you know, beat these legendary ladder matches, eight man ladder matches, six man ladder matches. And it's literally all random. You just do your challenges outside the ring. And then once you're done with your challenges, like, like how I'm about to be once I finish my last challenge, the only thing you can do is just sit there and just try your best to just, just have a point where the ring is completely empty and then you can just go for a briefcase and then everyone's just going to literally just look at you. They're not even going to stop you. They're just going to let you get the briefcase and you win. It's it's such a weird glitch. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, that's pretty much it. Like, yeah, you could probably take longer than 15 minutes if you do this process. But honestly, it shouldn't take you longer than 15 minutes. I got this done in around, what, 13, 14 minutes. So it's really random. But this just clearly just shows the lack of effort that was put into, you know, this mode because they just put things together. They just said, hey, all right, you know, and, and this is what I always said. This is what I always said to myself, too, before, you know, I've played the game. I was like, this game mode is not difficult. Proving Grounds on Legendary, it's not difficult at all. And I'm pretty sure you guys can agree with me. This game mode is definitely not difficult at all. But... It's just frustrating. It's irritating because of the stupid stuff that you have to deal with. I mean, look at this. You got the ladders going all over the place. Like, like the ladder weighs nothing. The, the ladder has no gravity, no physics, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? And then you're always getting knocked out the ground. You got two enemies trying to attack you at once. You can't reverse things. The, mat, the, you know, the whole ring is just filled up. You can't do anything. It's just crazy. And that's the problem and it's with literally all the challenges in proving grounds like why is there a, a 20 minute iron man match you know what i'm saying it didn't it like i get it like iron man matches can be 20 minutes but we're talking about a video game you know video games are simulations you know what i'm saying and with that being said that means we don't have to experience the full length of a certain thing that's going on it's just simulation so we should have a shortened version of it so if it's an Iron Man match, make it 10 minutes. It's a video game. And that'll make it, and if you guys want to make it even more challenging, the lower you make the time limit, the better. Because then it's like the CPU, if he gets a amount of uh, more finishers than you do and in that 10 minutes, then, you know, you lost and you got to redo it. But like I said, this game mode isn't challenging. They want to make it as frustrating as possible. So you're going to sit there for 20 minutes just fighting the same opponent over and over again and if you're winning that iron man match it's like you're just like you're just like what's the point you know what i'm saying so here i was just going for the ladder and bam just gets knocked over like like paper because kevin owens accidentally ran into it and there should be an option where you can you know drop down here and just like attack an enemy from above i don't know why you're forced to be stuck in the animation until you know you just fall i, I really don't like that Hopefully they change that next year. And um, there's also a cool little method for um, if, you know, if you're going for the, for the briefcase and an opponent is trying to attack you, the best thing to do is to spam B or circle because for some reason, it's like this animation that doesn't get reversed at all. And you literally just like hit them against the, the ladder and they instantly fall every time. It's so weird. It's so weird. I noticed it actually in this gameplay. So that's the weird thing, too. So I was like, what? I was like, hmm, that's that's something new, you know? But um, yeah, so as you guys can see, look at look at them. All of them were just watching them, watching them get the briefcase until I went up there. Once I went up there, that's when they wanted to start, you know, attacking me and stuff. <laughs> but it was just crazy. And then I couldn't go down. I couldn't even climb down. This just shows you how. Look at this. Look at this. This should show you how broken this game is. This should show you. This isn't difficult. This this game mode is not difficult. As you guys can see, I got the amount of objective points needed. 
I just need to climb the ladder, but I can't even climb the ladder. Look at this. Look at these glitches. Look at look at what's going on. The ladder's falling. No one's touching it. You know? And then the, and then why do all the opponents get up so fast? Like you can hit them with like five finishers in a row. And they'll get up in about like what? Four seconds? But then when you get stunned, it's like you're there for like a two minutes, it seems like. It's just so crazy. And you know, I don't know if I don't know if they even noticed it when they were clearly weren't testing the game. They clearly weren't testing the game mode because they should know that all the enemies literally get up in like five seconds. It's crazy. The only time I've noticed where, you know, opponents don't stay on the ground is when, you know, you push them off of the ladder. That's what I've noticed. If you push them off the ladder with a finishing move, they tend to stay on the ground for, you know, a good amount of time. But as you guys can see, Samoa Joe is over here about to get the briefcase. I'm like, no, 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 no. This can't happen. This can't happen at all. So I climbed, I went back in the ring. And it's like I came and put the ladder down correctly because Samoa Joe's literally in the way. You got ladders all over the place. Enemies all over the place. Look at them. taking the, And I can't even reverse that. Like, what is going on? I'm over here trying to punch. Oh, yeah, I remember this part. I was trying to punch the, the opponents with the ladder, but it wasn't letting me. Look at right here. I was literally trying to reverse all that. It was not letting me. I always remember I was getting so frustrated. I was like, what is going on? Look at this. Look, I can't even put the ladder down. The ladder won't even go down. I'm just like, what is going on? What is going on? You guys should have seen me. If you guys want me to start live streaming, man, let me know. Let me know. If you guys want to start, you know, watching me live, let me know. And I'll do it, man. But you guys see this crazy stuff? I'm over running into people. Like I said, enemies after enemies, they just don't stop. You know what I'm saying? They just stay they stay up. They don't even they don't even stay on the floor for no longer than two two seconds. It is just crazy. But once you get your objective points, just keep doing what I'm doing. Just try just try your hardest to go for that briefcase. Cause there's gonna be a point where literally you're all gonna be thrown out the ring or they're just gonna literally just sit there and watch you get the briefcase. And that's all I was trying to do. Just make sure I stood my ground and just went for that briefcase. And I don't know, for some reason, it accidentally made me climb up the turnbook. I was like, what's going on? Like, the game was having a mind of its own today. I, I just couldn't believe it. Then there they go again, throwing me out the ring. But luckily, I was able to get back in the ring. Yes, there you go. But then I did not want to do that. I was trying to throw him out the ring. But I accidentally, you know, did a heavy attack. And then uh, sometimes, if you're at a weird angle in the ring... They still let you uh, get the briefcase. So that's why I was climbing the ladder right there. But right now, I was pressing B right now. Was I right? Yeah, right now. I was just spamming B. Spamming B right now. And just look at this. Bam. He couldn't even do nothing about it. And then there I go again. Falling down the ladder again. Falling down the ladder again. Look at Happy Corbin. Bam. I was just done. I was just like, oh my gosh. I was like, this is not that hard, too. But as you can see, all the enemies, they just want to just keep on beating you up. They don't they don't even care. Look, they don't even care about the briefcase. I think they care more about just beating you up more than they do about the briefcase. There they go, throwing me out the ring again. This is this is what I'm talking about. And let me know your experiences that you've been having with these ladder matches. Because, uh, <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. I think this is one of the craziest ones because... I was literally like, you guys should see me. Because I'm not even explaining everything that was happening during, like, the game session. But I was literally reversing so many things. I was trying to click certain buttons, and they just wouldn't register. They just would not register. I was like, what is going on? I'm over here getting thrown out the ring, like, eight times. I am like, what is going on? So I'm like, okay. I'm like, should I just throw them all out the ring first for a sec? Or should I just, you know, just keep doing what I've been doing? Then here we go. Here's my chance. Here's my chance. The ring is pretty much empty. I'm climbing up the ladder. I'm climbing. Keith Lear gets out the ring. He got out the ring. Here I go. I missed it. Oh, I missed it. But then I get it again. And again. And then I won. Let's go. <laughs> 
Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I really appreciate all the love and support you guys been bringing to the channel. Hopefully this video helped and hopefully you got a little laugh out of it as well with all the just silly stuff that happens in these games. But um, yeah, I have more content coming. So if you're new, subscribe and share this video everywhere. Follow me on Twitter. It'll be in the comment section down below. And uh, I'll see you guys on my next video. I'm signing out. Peace.